So let's go and take a look at this, all right? Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is we have a magnitude, we, wanna, we have a vector v that has a magnitude of 9, and we want to find um, what it's asking us to do is actually, where did my thing go? Oh, here we go. So they want us to write the vector v in component form when it has a magnitude of 9, but it's in the same direction of 7 plus 3i, or 7i plus 3j. So first of all, let's just go and take a look at what would this vector, what does this vector look like? All right. So again, it's 7i plus 3j. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. OK. So that's our vector w, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, does vector w have a magnitude of 9? No. No. no, right? I mean, we can prove that by, we could do Pythagorean theorem on this, right? You could say that's 7, that's 3. Um, what is going to be? Uh, is that is the, your hypotenuse going to be a length of 9? Well, hopefully you guys can already see that. You know, 49 plus 9 is going to be the square root of 58. Right? And obviously, the square root of 58 is not 9. Right? So this length, this magnitude, does not equal 9. They want us to write a vector that has the same direction. That means it followed right on this pathway, but has a magnitude of 9. So one thing that we talked about is we can take a vector and we can write it as a unit vector. And remember, a unit vector is going to have a magnitude of what? One. one. And that's very, very helpful when we can write this now as a magnitude of one, because once we get this vector as a magnitude of one, we still have the same direction, then all we have to do is multiply by its magnitude to now have it as a magnitude of nine. Does that kind of make sense? Well, sure. Let's see, what, it, what is this going to be? This is going to be like 7 point something, right? So if you just multiply this vector times 9, then you're going to have 7 times 9, which is not going to have a magnitude of 9. You have to create this to be a unit vector first. So how do we get a vector to be a unit vector? Well, we take our vector w, and remember, we just take the vector and divide it by its magnitude. Now, we already figured out the magnitude. Um, is pretty much going to be 7 squared plus 3 squared times the square root, which is 58, right? So now we can really just say this vector is 7 comma 3 over the square root of 58. So my vector in component form is 7 over the square root of 58 comma 3 over the square root of 58. Is everybody following me so far with what I have done? Okay. Now, what this is is this is your unit vector. All right. If you were to transfer this over to decimals, it'd probably maybe do something like this. It'd probably create a vector that that's small. Right. You don't have to rationalize it because we're just going to be keep. We're just going to find this vector. We're, all we're going to do is multiply these by nine. So you want to look at first and see, you know, it's not, right now it's not going to be as um, important to just go ahead and rationalize or see if we can simplify. But what I want you to understand is here's our unit vector, right? It has the same direction as my larger vector, but now it has a magnitude of 1, but it's on the same direction. So now to find my vector v that has a magnitude of 9, I multiply w times 9. So therefore, my new vector v is now going to equal um, 9 times 7 over the square root of 58, comma, 9 times 3 over square root of 58, which now equals 9 times 7 is what, 63 over square root of 58, and then comma, 27 over the square root of 58. That's it. I mean, you could simplify those, you know, going through. But for right now, I just we'll just leave them in as their answer. You could simplify them. Um, but the main important thing I want you guys to understand is, if given a vector, direction or form, and you want to find a new vector with a different magnitude, you have to rewrite it as its unit's vector, then multiply by its magnitude. And now, this is a vector. This is your vector v that has a magnitude of nine, but 
that has like the same direction as w. OK? And that's it. Any other questions? I kind of went through that one.